Am I wearing this right? Hey guys, it's Matt. And Kim. From Take a Hike. Today we'll show you how to properly size, fit, and wear your pack. So, let's get into the video. Yeah. To start off measuring the back, you're going to want to identify your C7 vertebrae, which is a vertebrae at the very top of your spine. When you bend your head over, you'll feel the first bone. So to measure your back, you're going to need two people. Have the person being measured turn around and bend over their head so that you can identify that bony prominence right at the bottom of their neck. Um, that's the C7, or the seventh cervical vertebrae. You're going to measure from that to the top of the iliac crest. So you're going to want to put your hands on top of your hip bones. If you're having trouble finding your hip bones, you can always put the hands on the bottom of your ribs and slide them down until you feel the top of your hip bones. You're going to want to make your thumbs even with the top of your hip bones along your back so that you can measure from that C7 to the top of your iliac crest where your thumbs are even all the way across. Make sure to measure twice for consistency. That's pretty important. Next, we're going to measure the waist. You're going to put your hands on top of your hips just like you did when you were measuring your back on top of the iliac crest because that's where that hip belt's going to go. It's going to be more on your waist than on your hips. You're going to measure all the way around. You want to measure on top of clothing, clothing that you would normally be wearing hiking. You don't have to measure on top of um, crazy coats or a parka, but a t-shirt is a good idea so that it's consistent. Um, you also want to measure twice for consistency all the way around. One way to put on your bag is to clip the hip belt first and adjust that so that most of the weight is resting on your hips. Make sure that is snug, not tight, but snug. You also want to measure that way so that your hip belt is snug, but not too tight. After that, you adjust your shoulder straps to take a little bit of weight, but not too much, and adjust your chest straps so that some of that weight's kind of resting against your sternum there. Adjust your load straps at the top of your shoulder straps so that you can adjust the load to be more or less on your hips or on your shoulders than you want. It's going to depend on how you hike. A different way to put your pack on is how I put it on all the time because I don't want to you deadlift that sucker. I have my husband help me out and I adjust the shoulder straps first. I like to bend over, get it on a good place in the middle of my back, and then adjust the shoulder straps. After I adjust the shoulder straps, I then buckle it in on my hips. After I buckle it in on my hips, I like to do the chest strap afterwards so that I can adjust it up and down um, depending on how it feels. For bustier women, you're going to want to put it up a little bit higher. Most shoulder straps are very adjustable and you can move them up and down on your body. Most of that weight's going to be kind of resting against your sternum anyways. Um, and that's how I like to put on my pack. There's several different ways to put on your pack. Another way that I do all the time is from a sitting position. I just put my pack on a rock or a log or something and I adjust it that way. Put my hip belt on and adjust my shoulder straps so that when I stand up it's kind of ready to go and then after I stand up you can adjust a little bit more. To stand up all you do is just squat and stand up and it's already in place and everything. And you have fit your backpack. Congratulations! One thing to add, keep most of your weight on your hips. Sometimes you'll have enough weight on your hips to where your shoulder straps won't even touch the top of your shoulders and that's okay. You're going to want to save your back as much as you can. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll try to get to as many questions as we can. And please don't forget to take a hike.